Hey guys, so I was doing some research for the fight mechanics infographics and I came across what seems to be a slight difference in how the turn walk mechanics work in both the global version and JP version of the game in the illusory lighthouse stage. Now this could be due to just a yet to be discovered trigger or mechanic behind the way the warp mechanic work but I'll showcase both a global and Japanese version of the run to demonstrate what I'm actually referring to. So first up is the global version of the game in a run that I recently did and what happened here is I popped summon at about 83-82% so that I can bypass the warp mechanic that's supposed to happen at 79% and essentially here I'm just sort of launching with two seed reigns to bring the boss all the way down to 39% so I'll just fast forward to the end of the summon phase I do want to point out though that one of the debuffs of the boss is a Shantoto LD call which is a framed paralysis Okay, so this is the final turn in summon phase and I'm just doing one final launch with seed rains and this launch brings the boss to 39% Now watch what happens immediately after I get out of summon phase So here summon phase has ended and you'll notice that the boss immediately triggers all three of his warps because I passed through three, three of the thresholds and then Chantoto Paralysis kicks in. Now let me show you what happens in the JP version of the game. Now this isn't my run, but it's one of the videos that I was looking at when I was doing research. I'll post a link in the video description to the full run. However, the premise here is the same. The boss is above 80% when summon mode is triggered. And the player here is also using double seed reins with a bard support to bring the boss all the way down to 39%. So once more, I'll just fast forward to the final launch in summon mode. Just one note though, there is one key difference in the JP run as opposed to my run in global, in the sense that the player here used a Ramo summon to inflict paralysis. So whether or not that has any bearing on how the warp function acts differently is still really unknown at this point. But if you have any ideas, please feel free to share them in the comments section as well. Okay, so this is the final turn inside summon mode and the player does one final launch with seed rains. And interestingly enough, right after summon mode has ended, the boss did not warp its turns which is different from how the global version acted. In fact, as you can see, the JP player did manage to actually do one more launch with seed rains. And this is actually a, a significant difference because a seed range launch equals to about 8% of the boss's health in terms of damage. And right here, the triple warp finally triggered, but it seemed to be one player turn later than GL. 